So on the song for her, it's got this the the bass line is so cool. And I struggled, you know, again as I always do, trying to come up with the right part. And um, what I ended up doing initially was just basically I ripped off Amy and and I played with Amy because her part's so cool. I wanted to play Amy's part as best I at least rhythmically. So the original part to to for her, we used to play it much slower, uh, and the drum beat went something like this. Now, the rest of the song pretty much stayed the same. Go to the chorus, and I just hit everything I can, and then go back to the verse, and you know, and she's got this cool bass line going. And I'm trying to play along with it, you know, and it's not, there's no real groove because we're both playing the same thing. So I experimented with a lot of different stuff, and um, when we decided that we were going to see about bringing this song back to life, because it's such a killer bass part, I thought, you know, what, let's, let's, I need to do something spectacular with it drum-wise. So that's when I thought, I'm going to bring in my electronic drum, kick drum, and turn it into a... Uh, disco funk tune. Instead of having my drum part, which was which is very busy. It's a cool drum beat. I love it. Maybe I'll use it someday. But I completely switched gears and went to just something real straight and flat out. Now, and that opened the whole thing up. So the bass line and you've got the bass drum, the kick boom, you know, just Got the big deep highs house rave vibe going on. So then in my head, I started hearing this little little tom tom part. So we got this, and I keep hearing. So I thought, oh, that that would be that's too killer. So so I thought, halfway through the through the through the verse, we're really cruising along. Let's ramp it up a little bit, and we'll add the. Uh, Add the little tom tom in there, the little octobon, and then we get this. So uh, another thing about for her, if if somewhere inside is a song that I I spent countless hours on trying to come up with, with the bridge, for her. Uh, I just, I didn't know what I was going to do in the bridge other than I had my tom-tom part. I had my, my... No, I, had, I knew I was going to do that. I had no idea what I was going to do with my octobons. I knew I would do something. And in, in, a, in a pretty uncharacteristically uh, Joe move, I decided I'm just going to not think up something and just go into the studio and play something. So... Uh, one day when we were and I was I was wiped out and we moved into doing percussion parts, I started to do my overdub bits, and that's when I did the octobons as an overdub for for her. So uh, Chris just rolled it, and I think I don't know we did a, did three or four takes, and and I think the third one might have been the one that we kept. And uh, I I it's funny because I ha I know what it sounded like in my head. I had the idea, but uh, I really don't know what I played. I have to go back and learn it actually for the record or from the record for when we go on tour, but. Um, the bit is uh, we come out of our little bit and go up here to the tom to the octobons when Carl and Grant are doing their thing. We end up with. <laughs> At least something along those lines, and and this is something maybe. You know, live, instead of being so locked into to a part like I am with somewhere inside where I, I, I'm making a specific statement I want to I want to make, for, for her, it, it could be different every single time I play it. Who knows? So that's, that's one of the fun things, I think, about, you know, being writing music is that um, you can change the, your, your part around to, uh, as you, you know, experiment and find out what, what you think best makes the statement you, that the song needs, needs to be made in the song. Um, change around, have fun with it. Especially a song like For Her, it's such a goofy, fun song. It, it's just all about having a big, crazy, fun party, so it really doesn't matter too much you know, what I do over here, as long as it's got the vibe.